So one of the things that makes our base 10 system useful um, and why the base 10 system seems to be economical is to, to do all mathematics using the positions. we need to memorize one hundred things and that gives us the ability to add, subtract, multiply, divide um, with memorizing just these hundred things and the hundred, and the hundred things we, we memorize are addition and multiplication tables so I'm just going to look at addition and multiplication tables Excuse me. And so zero plus zero, right? If I do an addition table, right, zero plus these numbers give these numbers back. One plus these numbers. plus these numbers right so if I look at the number let me see if I can insert a line through here yep. and so if I'm looking at the number in the column or in this row and I add it to the number in the column my answer is what's directly below it so 2 plus 2 is 4 2 plus 3 is 5 and so this is it. This is tables, and I think a, a lot of us has, have learned these in flashcards or in other systems. Whoops. Two plus nine is eleven. And two plus ten is twelve. And a thing to notice about this. is that there's 10 by 10. So there are 100 additions in an addition table. But because a plus b is equal to b plus a, order doesn't matter, then in we get duplicates, right? This row is a duplicate of this row. And so we can divide the table in half down its corner and we only need 50 additions to memorize. And if we memorize these 50 additions, we get every possible thing we can do with just the digits we have. In fact, only up to, and I said 10 to 10 and the 0 in here, we only need the 0 to 9. Having the 10 is a good representation to see what happens to come across. We only need 0 through 9 and 0 through 9 to give me my 50 additions that we can use. Well, the same thing happens with multiplications. And so we have these 50 multiplications and these 50 additions that we can use to form every number. Well, let's, let's look at base 10 additions and, and see what that means. And what we're going to talk about is the algorithm of addition. the algorithm of addition. And so if I'm taking, I'm just going to take two numbers in their hundreds so that we can have three parts in each. So 358 plus 621. And I'm going to write them out in their expanded form. So 3 times 10 to the second plus 5 times 10 to the first plus 8 times 10 to the zero plus 6 times 10 to the second plus 2 times 10 to the first plus 1 times 10 to the zero. And we can think of these as having the like bases of counting up how many times we see this pattern. So I can ask myself how many times do I see 10 to the zero? Well there's 8 times and 1 times so that's 9 times 10 to the 0. 
And then how many times do I see 10 to the first? Well, that's 2 and 5. So that's 7 times 10 to the first. And then how many times do I see 10 to the second? Well, that's 6 and 3. So that's 9 times 10 to the second. And whoops. And gathering these all together gives me 600, 979. Now we create a machine of doing that by lining up the place values. So here we look at them mathematically as gathering like terms. Um, and we can do that just by position alone. By lining up position, I have 9 in my 1's place, 7 in my 10's place, and 9's in my 100's place. And the thing that we use next, we do 412 plus 38. Now move my algorithm to lining things up. And what happens is if I go bigger than my digit, 10 is bigger than my digit, I carry over my extra 10's value. Because 2 plus 8 is 10. That's like saying I have 0 on the 1's and another 10. And then I carry. And I get my answer. And so we're using the ability to only record a single digit. And carrying extra digits over. And th this derives the addition. Um, algorithm. Well, this will work in other bases. And so let's look at base 3. Base 3 for additions, uh, or I'm sorry, base 4. Base 4 is what I'm going to do. Base, so that means it's going to be 0, 1, 2, and 3. 0, 1, 2, and 3. And so for additions, I can have 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, which means I'll be carrying one. All right, that's, we wouldn't write that as 4. We would write that as 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 1. 1, 2. Let's see, 3, 1, 0. Let me make sure I have these right. Oh, no, I was off by one here. This is three. This is one zero. This is one one. This is one zero. This is one one. And this is one two. So let's do an addition in base 3. So let's start with 3 plus 3. Well, in normal base, base 10, that's 6, which is 3, 1 in the 3's place, or 1 in the 4's place, 1 in the 4's place and two left over. So one, two, which is what we see here, one, two. So let's add three, three in base four and one, three in base four. So 3 plus 3 is 2. 3 plus 3 is 2 in our column here with a 1 carried over. And then this is a 1 plus 3 plus 3. Or 2 plus 3. 2, 2 plus 3, which is a 1, 1. Right? 2 plus 3 is a 1, 1. 2 plus 3, 1, 1. And we get 1, 1, 2 in base 4 is equal to 
3, 3, base 4, plus 1, 3, base 4. Well, what is this number in base 4? So this is 4 to the 0, 4 to the 1st, and 4 squared. So we have 1 times 4 squared plus 1 times 4 to the 1st plus 2 times 4 to the 0. Or 16 plus 4 plus 2, which is 22. And so the algorithm with carrying and memorizing a small table works for base systems. Well, the same thing will happen with subtraction. So let me change color here, and I'll do a subtraction in base 4. So 31 in base 4 minus 1, 2. I shouldn't say 31. 3, 1 in base 4 minus 1, 2 in base 4. My apologies for that. And so I need to borrow 1, 4 from the 4's place and bring it over into the 1's place. And so 1, 1 it, minus 2 is 3. 1, 1, oops, 2 minus 1 is 1. And so we have 1, 3 in base 4. Well, what, 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 was, what were these numbers in base 10? So we have a 1 in the 4's place, or 1 in the 1's place, and a 3 in the 4's place. And so that's what, 12 plus 1, that's 13, minus a 2 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 4's place, 6, which is 7. And if we look at this answer here, we have a 3 in the 1's place and a 1's in the 4's place, which is 7. And so these base systems work. The position holds the value, and they let us um, add and subtract. Well, that means we can also multiply. Um, and we do this just as we did in base 10. Now again, we, we would want to memorize a multipl multiplication table. I wouldn't say memorize for each base, um, but to um, think about having the base system where there is a set value for each one. So let's, let's look, we'll switch over to base 6. And so in base 6, um, we'll have 6 to the 0, 6 to the 1st, 6 squared, 6 cubed, and so on, um, which means that um, this is the 1's place, the 6th place, the 36th place, and let's see, 6, 6 carrying my 3, 216th place. And so we could look at 3, 4, base 6 times 2, base 6. So 2 times 4, right? 2 times 4, it would be 8, right? But 8 in base 6 is 1, 2. So we write the 2, and we carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. But 7 in base 6 is 1 in the 6. So we'd write that as 1, 1, 2. And let's just double check this in base 10. So this in base 10. six down here is four in the ones place and three in the six places so three times six is 18 plus four that's 22 times two which is 44 well, let's look at this we have two in the ones place one in the six places and one in the 36 places 
So 36 plus 6 is 42, plus 2 is 44. And so the positional system does its job. It holds all the value we need, and as long as we scroll over, when we get past the number of digits we have, um, the place takes care of the values for us. Let's do one last thing. Let's look at our division algorithm. And division is a reverse of multiplication. And so we're reversing the multiplication table. So let's look at the 0, base 4. 0, 1, 2, and 3 are the digits we're allowed in base 4. So I guess write down the multipliers here. Two times two is one in the fours place, zero in the ones place. Two times three is one in the fours place, two in the ones place. And three times three is nine, but that's one in the fours place, or two's in the four place, and one in the, right, that's nine. And so here we have our multiplication table in base four. And so I can reverse this by using place values and so we go 3 well it can't go into 2 so it goes to the next 3 goes into 2 2 Let's see, 3 can't go into 2 but 3 can go into 2 2 3 times which leaves me which gives me 3 times 3 is 2 1 subtract the 1 and bring down the 2 and 3 goes into 1, 2, 2 times, right? Because we're reversing this. There's 1, 2 by 3, 2 times, 3, 2. And I multiply. And I subtract, I get 0 remainder. And so we have that 2, 2, 2 in base 4 divided by 3 in base 4 is 3, 2 in base 4. Well, let's compare the 3 into... 2 in the 1's place, 2 in the 4's place, so that's 2 plus 8, and 2 in the 16th's place, or 32, and so that's 42. And so 3 goes in there once, 14 times. Well, let's see if this is 14. I have 2 in the 1's and 3 in the 4's, so that's 12 plus 2, or 14. And so it checks. And so our, our positional systems allow us um, to do mathematics in different bases. And this allows us to use different machines to calculate as need be. Um, granted, base 10 is, works really, really well for us. We can count on our fingers to double check, and um, we can have machines to do things with it. But we'll find that certain machines, like computers, need base 2. Um, and we'll look at some of the tricks we can use with base 2.